What's up you guys? We're back with another WonderCon, this time 2024, and some Hasbro McFarlane reveals. So let's check it out. First off, let's start with Big Bad Toy Store and their Operation Monster Force. Some of their reveals for their 112th Fresh Monkey Fiction figures here. Prototypes there of some. And there's some other ones that are actually painted up. Our vampire looking guy here. Some of our soldiers. Jumping into McFarlane, we got your spawn digital coming summer 2024. We saw the Matrix a while back, but they're now saying this is going to be summer 2024, six inch movie maniacs of Neo and Trinity. Some more of the movie maniacs with the 40 year old virgin Andy. Stitzer from the Big Lebowski, The Dude, and from Dazed and Confused, David Wooderson, coming spring 2024. And then from DC Multiverse, we have Ultra Articulated, Mr. Freeze, Ambush Bug and Cheeks the Toy Wonder, Booster Gold, and Robin Tim Drake, DC Rebirth. These are spring 2025. I'm not sure if that date is correct. Got your chase figures here, platinum edition of the Manhunter from Green Lantern, Reverse Flash from New 52, and Sportsmaster, first time I've seen that before, from Batman Forever, have four figures to build a Build-A-Figure for Summer 2025, you got your Batman, Robin, Two-Face, and the Riddler, with Tommy Lee Jones and Jim Carrey there, and you're going to be building the Nightmare Bat. Very interesting. Also, 7-inch scale vehicle here. Summer 2025, we're going to get the Tumbler with Lucius Fox. How about that? From the Collector Edition, Spring 2025, the next wave will be Captain Boomerang, Starfire, and the Penguin. And this, these dates have got to be wrong. It's got to be 2024 because I'll show you here in a second. We've got the official images, so it's got to be 2024. They've got the number wrong on those slides but there's your starfire and your penguin collector edition and then your captain boomerang you can see he's got a soft scarf and then his jacket's kind of a soft leathery look too kind of collector's edition summer and we're going to say 2024 instead you got your manga batman your sergeant rock and your super board connor kent and then your digital Superman, the Man of Steel, Green Arrow, Longbow Hunter, and the Adam Ray Palmer. You collect all three, and you get the Animal Man Build-A-Figure. I don't know what that means. From the 6-inch scale line, a medium-scale vehicle here with the Joker Mobile. Looks like it's got some lighted action there in the teeth and the eyes. From the Batman the Animated Series, Summer 2024. Also a Build-A-Figure wave here. I'm assuming we're building Bruce Wayne, but you got your Hardak, which is like a Batman um, cyborg type looking thing, Poison Ivy, Phantasm, and Bane. So very interesting to build that Bruce Wayne. So thank you guys so much for joining us today in the first ever Hasbro Action Brands panel WonderCon. Yeah. Let's dive right in. I'm excited to be here. I'm sure you are. So kicking it off with the vintage collection. So first up, we have a figure that we definitely wanted to bring into the line. So our beloved street rat termed freedom fighting Jedi, we have Ezra Bridger here. So this is Ezra in his live action version for the first time ever in the three and three quarter in scale across all of our lines. And this is the version that we saw um, on Sabine's hologram. The live action version, as you can see here, kind of has that different shaping on the chest. Taking a quick look at the packaging here, 
this hero of Lothal, Ezra, is VC number 319. And so now that we saw his Padawan, uh, we're excited for the super cool looking mentor and leader of the Rebels crew, Kanan Jarrus, of course, in his season one look here um, while he was in hiding after having forsaken the Jedi Order and of course, you know, before he lost his eyesight as well. So taking a closer look, um, he is almost entirely newly tooled. We see a different portrait in the eyes um, along with that unique costume and true to Kanan, that weathered logo on his shoulder along with the classic armor. This Kanan also comes with his blaster and belt holster along with a lit lightsaber and unlit hilt that can also be plugged in. And as for packaging, we see that Rebels film out on the card back. Once again, another great addition to the line. Both Ezra and Kanan are available on Fan Channel and Amazon in the US, Mainline in Canada, Fan Channel and Amazon, including Hasbro Pulse in Europe, and Fan Channel in Asia and Pacific. So both will be up for pre-order April 3rd at 1 p.m. EST, and both will be available summer of 2024. So sticking with our favorite crew, of course, we can't forget the muscle. So here we have Zeb. This is once again in his season one look featuring those classic shoulder pads. And unlike that end of season look in his HasLab version where he kind of has his really, you know, beefy shoulder boulders out on display, um, this one comes with some major new sculptural details. And we see that across the whole figure, you know, from his face portrait to the chest, across belt and legs as well. And of course, his signature bow rifle here that we see in that expanded staff form and really cool looking electricity effects that kind of complete that look. So he looks awesome and just like super formidable. And he comes with unique graffiti that we can see actually from Sabine. It's kind of coming on that shoulder armor into his chest. And then if we go a little bit further down, we see that unique detailing on his belt too. And a quick look at the packaging once again. This is going to be in our deluxe figure packaging featuring those kind of iconic diorama shots. And once again, for availability, Zeb will be available in Fan Channel in the US and Canada, Fan Channel in Amazon, including Hasbro Pulse in Europe, and Fan Channel in Asia and Pacific. So along with Kanan and Ezra, Zeb will also be available for pre-order on April 3rd at 1 p.m. EST, and he will be available summer of 2024. So shifting gears into Black Series, I uh, think this is a familiar face that might help round out your Cantina collection. We have Moma Nadon. So really excited to be bringing him in, also affectionately known as Hammerhead. Um, as some of you can probably guess, he is a partial from Doc Ondar. And fun fact is that we always built MoMA, you know, in mind. Like, he was part of the plan all along. So it is a great moment to be able to finally reveal and kind of share that with you guys at this point. You know, he comes with a fully newly sculpted head. Um, it's a little bit deeper and his neck is a lot longer. You can notice those differences um, from Doc and... This particular MoMA comes with three drinking cups too, so we wanted to include those so that you can kind of really build out that scene and you know pose them out as a patron. And this way you also get some extra cups for your cantina scene too. And he is number seven in the A New Hope lineup. MoMA is available on Fan Channel in the US and Canada once again. Fan Channel on Amazon, including Hasbro Pulse in Europe. Fan Channel in Asia. And then he is an EB Games slash Zing exclusive in the Pacific. So like the other three vintage collection figures, MoMA will also be up for pre-order on April 3rd at 1 p.m. EST and available fall of 2024. So next up, it's Transformers. Oh, hey, I get to go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So up first, a little recap. We revealed this awesome collab with our friends at Nickelodeon and Paramount on Thursday. The party wall up is joining your collection. And just a couple other beautiful shots here of the wagon itself on the next slide. So again, available for pre-order right now. This is coming out this summer. We have a lot more stuff coming with this with our good friends at Paramount and Nickelodeon. So definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, this is going to be a really awesome item. Very excited that we finally got to show this to the world and working on it for like a year and a half. Uh, officially, Studio Series Wave 2. Up first, we have Deluxe Class uh, Sunstreaker from Bumblebee Movie Concept Art and will be available for pre-order on Thursday, April 4th, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
sticking with Deluxe Class, we have Gamer Edition Sideswipe. Um, Evan kind of mentioned this in the fan stream the other day, that it's nice because he never really got his own sculpt back when we did these toys before, so officially an own, his own version of Sideswipe, so that will be coming uh, as well. And we're going to go to Voyager next. Um, Shockwave, who doesn't like a Shockwave? We finally, you know, we made the Core Class one about a year and a half ago. We needed to make him in his proper size. So I'm pretty sure this next one is definitely what everybody is here to see. We threw the Space Bridge this, so none other than our final fifth Dinobot leader swoop. I didn't cancel them despite me joking that I was going to. I swear, you're going to get all your Dinobots. Um, so Evan worked very hardly with Hisui, I believe it was, on all five of the Dinobots to make sure we got those authentic 1986 Dinobots in here. You can see he comes with his two swords. Um, you can store them both in bot and alt mode. So much like the others, this one will be available for pre-order on Thursday, April 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern, everywhere you like to buy your toys, including Hasbro Pulse, Amazon, um, all the fan channels. So... All right, so into the Marvel Legends. I am Ryan. I am on the marketing team here uh, from back home in Rhode Island. Dwight sends his hugs, and Dwight, or Dan, I should say, Dan sends his yo-yos. All right, so let's let's get into this. That is very Dan. At the risk of at the risk of making uh, Brian really nervous, I was going to ask who's excited for uh, Wolverine and Deadpool. Deadpool and Wolverine later this year. Would you like to see some new Legends figures for this movie? Yes, I would too, and I haven't seen them yet, so neither will you, though. Stay tuned to come uh, for that. In the meantime, we wanted to recap our Deadpool Legacy collection revealed two days ago uh, through Screen Rant, I believe, and these will be going up for a pre-order on April 1st. The reason why we're doing them is so that fans who maybe were not able to get these figures back for the first time in 2020 can now do so fairly easily. These are going to be multi-channel uh, exclusive, so they should be available everywhere, including the Hasbro Pulse. So go pre-order them Monday. We love anniversaries in Marvel, don't we? So we've had Spider-Man 60th, we've had Avengers 60th, uh, and this year, this spring, we are doing 50 years of Wolverine. And so these, these two packs have started to ship. I think um, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. We've got things like Patch and Fix It. We've got that Sabretooth with a Cowboy Logan. So this is celebrating 50 years of Wolverine, these are fan channel shared exclusives, so go check those out on the Pulse if you haven't. And as I was planning with the team what, ex what reveals to do for WonderCon, I was like, man, it would be really great if we had another anniversary, but uh, I don't think we do. But then I realized this actually is an anniversary in some way. So who remembers in 1994, the Toy Biz <laughs> Iron Man wave, I think there were two, maybe two waves at least for this, but this was an awesome, uh, line look and blister card and, and brought out some really interesting characters as well. And we've already used this line look twice before and just a little bit behind the scenes here, we uh, work with the awesome Harry Moore, who is a, a comic book artist and um, he's helped us with this line look as well as our Spider-Man retros. There are files from those Toy Biz packages don't exist anymore, so what Harry does so authentically is he basically recreates this. So, so what we are gonna take you through is a full wave of Iron Man Retro. So first up here is our first look at Iron Man Model 20. And so what you see here in this all new figure, Dwight said, um, we've got this awesome looking Iron Man. He comes with four repulsor blasts. He has fists and blasting hands as well. This has some great articulation and actually has, I'm not, the figure, you might be able to see it. He's got some in this next image. He's got some like back fins. That was a feature of this armor, which you see in the crouching pose, but you can get him in some great dynamic poses. There he is in the superhero landing. And it's not gonna be six Iron Mans, right? We're gonna mix in some other characters as well, including some deeper cut villains. So next up you see here, this is Whiplash. And right, guys, Whiplash was in the original Toy Biz line. So this is an awesome uh, update to that. A Couple more shots of Whiplash here. And then Matt, Cohen took these awesome shots and uh, Dan asked him, hey Matt, can you do some um, like ba like uh, battle poses? And so we've got some fun poses. So we've got Whiplash unfortunately being defeated here by the, the Model 20 Iron Man. Um, but so yeah, so those are, though that is Whiplash going on to another Iron Man figure. This is our Model 9 Iron Man, yeah. mostly new. We've got some new, we've got a new torso here with um, <laughs> some new boots. <laughs> as well as our standard blast effects on the right. Here he is soaring through the air. Matt really gets these awesome dynamic angles. And then we have one more villain for the wave. This guy has never before been made in an action figure. 
I think he was in a, in a hero clicks, but but uh, that doesn't count. It's not an action figure. So this is the rookie card, the first appearance of our Count Nefaria. It's been rumored on some lists out there, and so I didn't admittedly know too much about this character, but he's battled the Avengers from since the very early days. His first appearance, what I just looked up on my phone, Avengers 13. All right, so for the for the fifth, now we're on the fifth figure. This is our third Iron Man for the wave. I love being able to complete famous comic covers, famous, com famous comic teams, and so you'll notice the only figure that we haven't done uh, in this cover, because you know that that classic Wasp is coming, which we revealed back during the Giant Man HasLab campaign last year, but is the gold Model 1 Iron Man. Um, so you see the gold, man, the gold version here, as well as he comes with the alternate Tony Stark head. So here is your Iron Man Model 1. Here, here it is, Tony holding the helmet, soaring through. And this was a really fun shot. Uh, Matt had uh, Tony kind of checking out the other armors in his Hall of Armor there. Which brings us to our sixth and final figure for this wave. But here we have... She-Hulk. And she is so big that you can kind of see she is uh, bending her legs a little bit to get in the, to crouch down to get into the blister, but she is so tall. Uh, this is uh, Dwight and team, amazing sculpt uh, team, with the sculpting team to really bring through that powerful nature of, of Jennifer Walters that you see here. So this is going to be our Iron Man retro wave. It is going to go up for pre-order on Tuesday, April 2nd. So after you pre-order your Deadpool legacy items on the 1st, you come back on the 2nd at 1 p.m. Eastern and get your Iron Man wave of six. And we hope you guys like it. Ghostbusters. So up first is going to be our new 118th scale 1984 Ecto-1. So just as a kind of point of comparison from like the Ectos in. So this is the fan focus Ecto, not the one that is for the kid line. So there's more detailing on it. Again, Matt Cohen has been taking all of our pictures lately, took these absolutely gorgeous shots of the Ecto. Um, with some interior detail shots here. So this is going to be um, available as a see now, buy now on Ghostbusters Day on June 8th. So stay tuned for more information on that. So we are doing something that is kind of new and exciting for Ghostbusters. Um, so we are actually bringing Ghostbusters to an O-ring scale. Um, so for the first time ever, Ghostbusters is joining our classic Hasbro three and three quarter inch O-ring size. Um, so we have our classic 1984 Ghostbusters. They come with four proton packs, trap goggles, and a PKE. And you know what? I tested it this morning with the model in my hotel room, and gosh darn it if those proton packs don't just fit beautifully on that gurney. I know, right? This is very exciting. Um, so more information to come on this, but this will be a pre-order on uh, Ghostbusters Day on June 8th. All right, and then rounding it out super fast on last. That's right, it's Classified Series. Thank you very much. First up, we are at Classified Retro Cardback Beachhead. So the next three items are going to be on our six inch scale classic cardback line. A couple more shots here. Second up in this wave is going to be our Retro Cardback Snow Serpent. Ooh, we like the Snow Serpents, don't we? Thank you. And then, really the figure that I get asked the most about, how dare I not make more of these, great news, now you can have more Cobra Eels. Um, so all three of these figures are coming to Retro Cardback. They will be available, they are mainline, so available on Hasbro Pulse, wherever fine toys are sold and or pre-ordered. Um, and they will be, I think there are summer wave of Retro Cardback, so they'll be available for pre-order starting on April 4th. And then um, we announced this quite a while ago, but we're really, really excited to have it go up for pre-order on the 4th. That's right. It is the Cobra Ferret ATV and Ferret Scout. Yeah, this thing is so cool. You have no idea yet. Uh, you're going to be deeply pleased. Um, so this is going to be a Pulse exclusive product offering going up for uh, pre-order on the 4th. Should be shipping out for summer. Anybody have anything that they want to add before we let all these nice people enjoy the rest of their day? I just want to say thank you. Yeah, thank you, Room guys. Thanks, Thanks for coming. God. All right, so here they are out on the showroom floor, showing the packages and the figures off on little stands. With your Kanan Jarrus, there's your Bridger, and Zeb. So there is your vintage collection figures from Ahsoka and Rebels. And 
you got your Black Series Series number seven, A New Hopes, Mamal Nadun. Ma Mamal <laughs> Nadun. Very cool looking figure. Big old feet, big head, I love it. Side of the package there. For Transformers, more than meets the eye. Of course, we got our Dinobot here, Swoop. And your Side Swipe and Sun Streaker. And Shockwave. And then Marvel Legends showing off the Iron Man Vintage Collection here, plus the Deadpool. Uh, and Wolverine figures there. Those are from the Legacy Collection, I guess you can call those. There's your She-Hulk in package. Whiplash finally. Count Nefaria. She-Hulk looking amazing. That face sculpt. Gold Iron Man. A couple more Iron Mans. Model 9, Model 20, Model 1 Gold, She-Hulk, Whiplash, and Count Nefaria. All in package. Front and back She-Hulk, Model 20, Count Nefaria. Getting his face punched in. Model 9. Whiplash. Getting his face punched in. And then a little tease here. Of an Avengers Quinjet. Tiny little uh, Quinjet there. I'm not sure what that's going to be all about. And then Ghostbusters. We got little... Three and three quarter inch O ring figures and a Ecto one. All four of the Ghostbusters looking like GI Joes. Got their packs and their weapons there. And then the Ecto one itself. And with GI Joe classified. Got to show off those vintage card backs. With the eel, beachhead, and snow serpent. Back to those cards. Beachhead, snow serpent, and an eel. Also, the ferret was showed off with the female driver. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments, hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up. Let me know what you think about all these reveals for WonderCon 2024.